And I'm Jason Guzman. I'm Amy Molina. And I'm Charisma Nelson. We're about to show you this slideshow about, about the discovery and the history of cells that we found. Sorry, it's blurry. Yeah. Not my fault. Sorry, it's blurry. You have it's fault. Hi, I'm Jason Guzman, and I'm about to tell you the parts of the cell. You see, this cup over here represents the cell membrane because it is the outer surface and it allows certain material to pass in and out. This lollipop represents the lysosome because it recycles worn out products. And this gumball will represent the nucleus because, it, it, as we all know, the nucleus is round. And I think it's most important because it uses DNA to make cell activity. So. The jello represents the cytoplasm, which is the jelly-like fluid of the cell and the environment. The skittles represents the ribosomes, which makes protein for the cell. The twister represents the endoplasmic reticulum, which is a place for cell reactions. The peppermints represent the mitochondria, which produces energy for the cell. So this is a powerhouse for the cell. The gummy worms represent the Golgi bodies, which pack and carry proteins. Now we're going to add all the cell parts together, starting with the cell membrane, cytoplasma, mitochondria, ribosomes, lysosomes, Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum, and the nucleus. And that is our cell in the cup. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Psalms. Ryan Psalms. Golgi bodies. And those like... <laughs> you were doing so well! <laughs> Just All keep right. going, we'll cut it. All right. The peppermint represents the mitochondria, which produces <laughs> energy. Oh my, my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna add this. Oh, uh, all this. Help. No, no, <laughs> we're starting off. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is classic. Are you, Andrea? Lysosome.